Hello witches and warlocks and welcome back to my channel. It's so nice to see you again. So um, it has come to my favourite time of the month. Not only the month but of the entire year um, because it's witch casket unboxing. Um, which again is always my favourite time. However this one's very special because this one is October. Yay! It's Samhain. So um, this one is an October themed uh, box, which is obviously the Halloween themed box slash Samhain themed box, which is everyone's favorite. Always seems to be a very popular one on my channel. Um, so it's finally here. I love Halloween. It's one of my favorite holidays. And Samhain is one of my favorites as well. It's when we finally start getting the darker uh, days in and we can start having um, hot drinks and snuggle up on the sofa and, and it starts getting rainy outside and the leaves start changing colour and autumn and winter is on its way. It's so nice. Um, I always love this one. So um, we're going to get on with our witch casket unboxing. So I've been very excited uh, for this one and couldn't wait. So this is how it comes if you are um, in the broom closet. No one knows you're a witch. Just like in the office, nobody knows I am. Um, then I love how this comes in a package that no one knows what it is. In fact, everyone keeps asking me, am I buying lots of shoes? So I'm like, no. <laughs> so um, it comes in a little bag like that. So I'm gonna open this one up. And then inside this bag, it comes just like this, which is in a black box. Years and ago, it used to be white, but now it's black and gray. Um, has a little pretend lock on the side there. Um, nothing on this side, nothing on this side. It's almost like marble effect, I guess. Um, so yeah, it says witch casket on the front. And then you guys get to see inside for the first time. Uh, there it is. Oh, and this always happens. It always is so full that the little booklet thing always falls out first time. And it looks like black and white is the theme. So, which is really cool, well, black and gray, black and white. Um, so we're gonna put that down there. Now, disclaimer for those out there, if you do get Witch Casket, you'll already know this, um, that bless them, Deb and Ella have sent out an email to say they apologize that they've sent us something that is misspelt or is the wrong way round um, on one of the items. So I already know what one of the items are. Now, um, Debs was very, very upset um, and near to tears, apparently, um, because she let it go out. And she knows, obviously, October Box is the most popular box of all of them. Um, and she's been very distressed. So if you are watching this, Debonella, um, do not panic. Do not worry. Um, we're not going to worry about it. I mean, because th they've already said that not only are they sending it back out, the product that they've sent us, um the, and they re getting it distributed out along with it they're giving us a free gift i mean they don't have to do that at all we're really not fast um I, you know i can't speak for everyone but i can definitely speak for myself and most of the people that um get this box will not care and they there's no need to be that distressed over something i know it can be stressful because you want it to be so perfect i'm the same i'm a perfectionist but please don't upset yourself because we're not we're, we're not going to judge anyone for doing for a mistake that was out of your hands. So, but thank you very much for the gesture of sending us it again, um, and also the free gift that's to come. So, um, again, I'm not gonna let it affect the box because I love this box and I'm very excited to see what's inside. So, that aside, let's have a see what this one is. This one is called Magical Intentions, October 2020. So there you go, that's a little booklet. And inside here basically tells you um, about the box and what's inside. So let's have a little read of this. Our most um, coveted casket of the year is here, October Witch Casket. It's the most popular, always will be. Um, it's all about magical intentions. We hope um, the contents will help you to harness your power of intent and add extra power and importance to your craft. So yeah, so that's from Deb and Ella. Um, and let's have a look, see what it says inside. Um, please, it just says to read through. Um, 
and then a little note from Debanella. Um, it says, we appreciate you tagging your con uh, content and magical posts um, to hashtag, ha hashtag which casket. This helps us to find and share them. We notice every single one of them and forever grateful for the time and love you put into those and the love the feedback you've given us recently. I've recently helped us to come through a difficult uh, difficulties of running witch casket during a global pandemic. Yeah, it must be tough. Um, and we want you to know how loved and treasured you are. We are now working hard on November's witch casket and this is one we are so excited about. We think you'll love it. Until next time. Uh, be well, Deb and Ella. Deb and Ella. I mean, that's really nice of them, isn't it? It's very spooky thing, this one. So I'm not going to read any of it inside because I like to be surprised. So um, we haven't had, well, we usually have these, but um, and they're usually by um, Tea Cake Art. But I'm not sure this one is. But it's a little... Um, <clears throat> postcard of some sort um, or a little picture it's quite strange um, it looks like it's got flowers, stars, leaves eyes <coughs> and I was trying to figure out what sort of paper this is or card it's like a, it feels like a shiny one this time almost like photo paper um, but yeah a little postcard type thing you apologise I'm really dry um, I've just been to work so I've just finished and I thought I'd do this video why I'm doing all work. Right, so um, this is, a, we always get a little spell kit of, or a ritual bag or something along that line, in which casket. Um, I'm so excited, I can't even talk. <laughs> um, so this is one is called Manif Manifestation Bath Ritual. So I've just recently been moved into a room that has a bath, so I'm really excited about this. Um, but we'll have a look at the end because I always like to go through it at the very end, give you something to look forward to. <laughs> Um, so we always said to get a tea and this is no different and of course it couldn't be Halloween or Samhain without pumpkin spice tea oh yes um, I'm uplifting brew to bring um, abundance power and protection a pumpkin spice tea very nice okay oh there's so much oh I always look forward to this um, they did this last time um, when they gave us these box and obviously because it's Halloween, it's trick and treat. So they sent us it again, which is this Belgian vegan chocolate bar, which is trick and treat on it. And it's vegan, so which is good for me because I'm vegetarian um, and it's a Belgian chocolate and it was so nice last time. So I'll be looking forward to tucking into that. Oh, well, this is new. Um, so this is, oh, wow. Oh, this is so cool. So there's a little tin and it says on the top there, travel altar. So when you're going around and you want to do spells outside or on your travels, um, it's got a little mini altar. So inside, it's got this. So inside we have a little thing for incense with two little incense cones. And I'll get this out so you can see. Um, so it's this little gold thing here and that's what you sit the um, these on they smell like orange it could be pumpkin I guess or they very they smell very much like like lemon or orange um, and then you sit them on that and burn the incense for your water um, and then we have another little baggie and inside is these little shards or little crystals of some sort and they're just little shards don't know if you can see them I'll bring them close there we go can just about and I think they are um, let's think what could they be um, I mean they're gonna just they're gonna just be a regular crystal um, oh my god I cannot think of the name um oh my god it's gone out of my head um we'll find out at the end but i know what crystals they are because they're used as a standard um crystal for energy 
um, and building energy, absorbing energy, you put them with other crystals. Um, and then there's a little, oh, this one smells too. It's, it's like an orange or lemon, something like that. It's either lemon or orange. I think it's more lemon than orange. But um, yeah, it's a little citrus smelling candle, an actual little travel altar. So you can put whatever you like in there, I guess. Um, I'm just trying to think of the name of that um, crystal. Um, yes, yeah, bugging me now. Um, so yeah, so a little travel altar, that's quite cool. And a little tin. Okay, right, so we always get a pin badge and this one is really cool. Um, so it's a little Ouija board with um, this little uh, mover, which I do know the name of, I learned it the other day. Totally can't think of what it's called now. Um, but yeah, so the card it's on is like a little mini Ouija board. And this is like a mover and it's a pin badge, West Witch Castle. I quite like the card and the fact that it almost looks like it should be a Ouija board. That's, I mean, I'm must admit, I'm not into Ouija boards, but it's got a little hole in the pin, so like there's a little hole here, and it obviously, like you would on a, on a Ouija board mover. I'm not really into Ouija board, I must admit, um, because it scares me, and I, I watch many horror movies, like I said in my other video, um, and it's always led to bad things, so I don't mix with a Ouija board. But the pin is quite cool, and I've got something that's very similar in another box, but it was candle holder. So yeah, that is really cool. Um, okay, so you always get a stone or crystal of some sort. Now we already had some, um, which is why I'm surprised we've got another one, but we have, and it's this big chunk. This is huge, and it's really heavy. Like it's proper heavy, like it's got some weight in it. it like it would break something if it fell on it. Um, <coughs> oh, so sorry. It's the dust in my room. Um, I don't come in this room often because um, I'm not using it at the moment, but I just use it to do my videos. So it's quite dusty. I'm a bit, um, a bit annoyed at myself that I haven't come in and dusted. So this is called Hemonite, Hemonite. Hemonite, I'm gonna go with Hemonite. So Hemonite, um, and it says, Hemonite is a stone of balance and stability. It will help you to feel grounded in increase con concentrate concentration and focus and your and boost your self esteem. Hematite Hematite is a protective stone which dispels negativity and brings a positive vibration. So that's what's on the other side of the card. That's not bad. Um, a hematite. I'm going to go with that hematite. Yeah. So hopefully I've got that right. If I haven't, let me know in the comments below. Be kind. Because <laughs> I'm terrible at reading stuff. Um, I'm dyslexic. So with normal words, I struggle. With these sort of words, I struggle even more. Right, we've got another baggie in here. A magical intention stone. Stones. Magical intention stones. So I don't know what that could be. There's some stones of some sort. Um, let's find out what's in the bag. So it's got a little card. Um, and it says on the card, intention stones. And it says, use these magical quartz stones to add power and intent to your spells, ritual, charm, bags, etc. Okay, so that is what it's called. Um, oh. It's called um, quartz. Quartz crystal. How can I? Oh, sorry, I do apologize. I've just knocked the table. So, quartz crystals are what was in the, um, I think, was in the the water, the um, travel water. So, the little shards, I think they were quartz. Um, so, um, this one has um, different designs on them. So, we'll get them out in the back. Oh, oh yeah, they're cute. Cute little quartz crystals. So they've got a heart, which means love. Um, we have a fish. That means abundance and fertility. 
we have a little sim oh we've got the uh the little oh, i'm gonna bugger this up now aren't i <laughs> i've been st i let people get into my head and i had a troll recently who who decided to comment on my video and um and they decided that they were going to comment on the fact that i said the wrong word um to describe what this is um which is a pentacle okay and i said pentagram now a pentagram obviously is a star by itself um i could also be almost like the star of david which is jewish um but obviously you have a pen pentagram which is just on its own and a pentacle which is in the circle because it's pentacle as in circle pentacle is in the circle so um at least that's what i think it is i'm second guessing myself because this little troll got in my head um and it's the first troll i've ever had i've never had anyone comment on my videos negatively um and i got two in the same week um so yeah so um it's really it's it sort of got into my head a little bit it sort of yeah, at the time it annoyed me and i commented back um and i tried to be as nice as i could about it um because obviously i don't like to be a horrible person um but i just felt it was very negative and and i just don't think in our community that we need really negativity um you know it's a hard world we live in as it is it's not easy being a, you know a witch or anything as it is and when our own community is putting us down for the hard work we put in to our videos and stuff like that for for the you know sake of trying to help people and just being nice and i do these videos because i want to and i enjoy them i i have fun doing them and it's and it's to give me something to do and look forward to doing and if people watch them then that's that's amazing like I'm so grateful that everyone watches my videos and I get the comments I do and I, I get the views I do and the subscribers I have are amazing. Um, it just, it's very sad when someone can be so negative about all my hard work that I do put into these videos um, and I enjoy doing. So um, yeah, my little rant over and done with. So it's sort of a little bit of doubt that's got into my head and negativity that now I second guess myself. Um, and I shouldn't do really. So yeah, so that is a pentacle on there, and obviously pentacle um, is protection. Um, that's what symbolises on here. And there's a little eye on this one, and it's insight. Um, so the insight, and then a tree, which obviously means growth. Um, so they're they're the actual symbols um, on the um, on the stones, which are quartz crystals. And it's growth, love, abundance, fertility, um, which is the fish. Um, and then the uh, protection, which is the pentacle, and insight, which is the eye. Um, so, yeah, they're quite cool. Um, I mean, I, I'm assuming you, like you said, they, you put them into spell bags and spell jars. I suppose you could put them on your altar um, if you're doing a protection spell or a love spell. Or, you know, you could just use them for any, anything, really. Um yeah, I suppose you could, whatever you fancy doing them. They come in a nice little baggy, so they're all set out nice, and um, I'm starting to get a nice little collection going. Um, I really look forward to these boxes, and they're really nice. So, ooh. So we've got something else. It's full, this bag. This looks so nice. Look at this. It's a little spoon. And on the end, I'm assuming, a quartz crystal so there's a little spoon looks a bit like that. it's got a little ridge what am i like so a little crystal there on the end of the spoon so it's a tiny little baby spoon comes in a little baggie like that it's beautiful though stunning little spoon um then but you could use it for anything really you could use it in to mix salt in your in the water um if you want salt water you could use it to get herbs out your jars you could use it for teas um yeah lots of stuff you could use that little thing for okay now this was the the, the thing that was um was the controversy 
Okay, so this is the thing that um, Deb really got upset about because apparently it's not spelt correctly or it's, in, it's not pronounced correctly or it's in the wrong position. Um, so it's basically this, it says, which class exclusive magical intention mug? Um, it says, put this the magical power of intention into your practice. Turn your tea, coffee, potions and brews into a quick spell by stirring your desires into your into them so i'm assuming that's what the spoon's for to go with this mug and so that's now i've already got a mug from them um okay all right so so basically i think this was put the wrong way so it should be this so it says um Widders, wither hens, wither, wither hens. I'm not pronouncing that correctly. With, with the, with the hens, with the hens. Okay, so I'm assuming with the hens should go with to banish the counterclockwise, and then desu, or desu, 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 um, should go with to invoke stir clockwise okay so i think these two got mixed up so they should be on the opposite sides i mean am i fast no i'm not at all um i mean it's nice the fact that their girls are getting them redone but they had these specially made and they mixed them up i think and put them on the wrong sides but i mean really i'm not fast if anyone out there is fast, then you really need to realise something that, you know, these girls work very hard. Um, Mum and daughter work very hard to make these boxes phenomenal for us. For £27, which is how much these boxes are, for those who've, who've never had the, this box before, and are thinking about getting it, um, it's £27. We get an awful lot of love, intent, good stuff that go into these boxes. This is a great little Halloween box, a uh, great little Samhain box. Girls really think hard about all this stuff. Everything's labeled nicely. It's all got its own little um, thing going on. Everything's written down to the last letter and I can understand why the girls are so devastated that it was two little words mixed up. I get it, I really do. I can understand because I'm the same. However, that's not making feel bad about it because at the end of the day for 27 pounds this is one of the best boxes out there um and i'm not going to complain um so i'm going to say thank you very much deb and ella thank you so much um these boxes are phenomenal and i will carry on getting which casket for as long as you are going and as long as i have the money to do it so um thank you so much um last but not least in the box uh, in the box, by the way, comes with all these packing little things. Um, and these are biodegradable as well. So they just melt away. They don't, you know, muck up the environment. They will melt away. And anything that the girls use, um, I, inside the tea, comes in like a plastic baggie. But it's not plastic. It's actually biodegradable. It's actually compostable. So you can put it in the compost and it will biodegrade perfectly fine so everything you have really just as much as they can they will try and make it you know friendly to the earth everything can be recycled so it's either cardboard now we've got a little scroll we always get a little scroll for our book of shadows um again i've always said they are you know not as fancy as um other boxes, um, i.e. Um, ones from America. However, the ones from America are stupidly expensive to get here. I looked at one the other day because someone did say to me in the comments, have you tried <coughs> a certain box? And I said, yeah, I knew about it, but I'm just not prepared to pay out that amount of money um, for that box. Um, it's good, don't get me wrong, it's, the box is stunning. I've seen it on YouTube and many people get it. Um, I think you know the one I'm on about. Um, 
but I could buy two British boxes for the price of that one. It's like cost me, you know, I think it's like, I can't remember how many dollar, how much it is in dollars, but it turns out it's like $60, like 60 pounds to get it to this country. Um, it's just ridiculous. So basically this is Magical Intentions. Um, and it just goes through and tells you lots of things about Magical Intentions. Um, it's very long, so if you want to pause it as you wish and have a little read yourself. Um, so yeah, it's a little, and recently I must admit, I'm assuming Deb and Ella have been watching my videos because every time I mention these, they change. <laughs> um, so when they first came out, they were very basic. Um, and now they've started to become, they start going the color of the theme. So when we had a love box, it was like pink paper. And then it was on, um, now it's on white because it's obviously black and white is the theme. Um, and it's all parchment paper, which is cool. And then I just put them into my book of shadows. Um, and then I have been making my own book of shadows pages. Um, I've only made a few, um, not many, but I will be showing them on my channel um, very shortly. Um, I'm gonna try my hardest now to try and um, try and do a few more videos on my channel, purely because I've been doing different things. Um, I started obviously full-time work um, after lockdown. Um, lockdown, I went through a very hard time. I just could not get my head around the whole lockdown thing and, and I had a very, very sad time during lockdown, um, which I just weren't in the mood to do videos. And now I can start thinking about maybe doing a few more videos now and trying to, you know, put more content on my channel. And I, again, I ask, please, please suggest something um, because my, I'm, I have limited ideas of what I want to do um, there's a few things I want to do on my channel. However, I want to know what you guys want to see. So if you want to find out more about me or if you want me to talk about certain things, my views on different um, things like my on altars or tools or whatever, I'm, I'm going to try and do some, some more things with tarot. Um, and obviously I want to do an altar um, and altar tools sort of tutorial thing. Um, so I want to talk through each one I have and why I use it and why, how I use it and what it's for and, and, and what I use it for in my, in my spell craft, um, and why I've got them. So I've done an altar tour and I want to do another one because now I have a bigger altar and I'm going to try and get it to look great again. Um, but yeah, so, uh, let me know what you want to see. So yeah, so basically that is our witch cast. Yep, so we've got one more thing to see, um, which is this manif manifestation bath ritual. So nothing we can really do about this one because it doesn't rip very well. So we try and keep it as neat as I can, but you just have to rip it. So we've got this little card, a little scaredy cat, and it says manna manifestation bath ritual so we've got a herb and then like i said comes in these little baggies and they are um, compostable so you can actually put them and they are biodegradable bags it does say on the front um and it says number one um so that's one herb and then we've got a second herb number two so herb number two a little tea baggy thing and a little crystal. I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything in the bag. So we got a bath pouch, so it's like a little tea bag. So you put the herbs inside and then you put it in your bath. Um, a clear quartz crystal. I think we've got quite a few quartz crystals um, going on today. Um, we've got heart. Um, heart season, season, heart season, 
heart disease, and I don't know which one that is. Associated with wish and good fortune. So that's one. And dandelion. So one of these is dandelion, and one of them is heart season. Yeah. Heart season, I think it's called. I don't know. H E A R T, heart. C as in S S E A S E, season. C C's. C's. Yeah, heart C's. Heart C's? Possibly. So one's heart C's and one's dandelion leaf. Dandelion leaf. I assume that's dandelion leaf, that one. And then that one's heart C's. Um, and dandelion leaf to help wish your wishes come true. Oh yes, the yeah, dandelion, you blow on it, don't you? Make a wish. And then it just tells you how to do it. So that's the ritual there. Just don't know if you can see it. But um, so yeah, so that's what's inside. That's quite cool. I could do that in the bath, I guess. Um, if I get round to having a bath. I've got a couple of days off work soon. I've got a little holiday that I took because I was going to go home to London. And unfortunately, can't anymore because London's now on lockdown. Okay, so we can go and have a look at this booklet. Now, I am conscious of the fact that my video is going on. My videos are going on quite long and I don't want them to. So I'm going to try my best to try and keep them down as low as I can. Right, so magic... Magical intention, intention stones with casket exclusive. Um, so these, that's these ones, magical intention stones, the ones with um, the different symbols on them. They're quartz crystals, so that's cool. The um, so it says use the magical quartz stones to add power and intent um, to your spells, ritual, charm, bags, symbols, meaning are uh, as follows. Obviously, I've gone through that. Then we got altar. Uh, travel water, which is quite cool. Travel water, tin, and contents with casket exclusive. For witchcraft on the go, we've created this enhanced travel water tin. And we've included some basics. Um, incense cone stand. Coconut incense cone. Oh, coconut. Um, smell. I suppose it, oh, it's because it's taken on the scent of the candle, I guess. Um, for protection and purification, um, orange tea light candle. So that's what that's why for personal power, energy, and common, the, the incense is sort of taking on the the orange smell. Clear quartz crystal chips. Yep, I was right to add power to any spell. Okay, the next one is the mug. Um, so, as I said, a little controversy, but I don't care, Debonella at all and thank you very much for caring enough to send us another one um, in the post which will be coming very soon as well as a free gift which you don't need to do but thank you and um, really you don't need to do but thank you very much um so it's a magical intention mug which casts exclusively to put magical power intention into your um practice um imbue your tea coffee potions and brews Intent your work uh, and work a quick spell by stirring your desires into them with this mug. We are harmon ancient, often forgotten words. So, yeah, so I'm not very good with these words, but it does describe um, what they are all about. Um, but obviously, I will go into that when I get it back again. When I get the, the new mug, I'll explain it all. Um, trick and treat um, chocolate. Vegan chocolate. It's not going back in the box because it's coming home with me. Oh yes, I will be eating that later on today. Uh, manifestation bath ritual. Yeah, that's going in the box um, for bath time. Um, so I've obviously told you all about that and close what we've got inside. Um, we've got enamel pin, which is very cool. Um, I'm not going to put that in the box because I'm going to put that on my pin board. 
Um, so magical intention, uh, oh, sorry, enamel um, plant, planchette, planchette um, pin, planchette pin, that was the name of the mover, it's a planchette. Uh, show your spooky side in this Samhain slash Halloween with a bewitching panchet pin. Okay, a magical intention parchment scroll, which we've seen. Um, a hematite tumbled stone, a crystal and info card. So that's a hematite. Um, we've got loose leaf pumpkin tea by Tea Cakes of Yorkshire. And inside it's got apple for abundance and love, orange abundance, good luck. Um, rose hip is protection and am ambience. Um, sunflower, courage and power, cinnamon, and good luck and ambience. Okay, we come to the jewel spoon, jeweled, jeweled spoon, a charming spoon to stir your intent into your magical tea, coffee, brews, and potions. Doesn't say what's on top of the spoon, but I'm assuming that's quartz, clear quartz. Um, forgive me if I'm wrong. And then we've got our A6 art um, by Moon at Moonchild Soph. And um, so it's at Moonchild underscore Soph. This month's art print was created by the talented Sophie whose work is both enchanting and captive. So yeah, it was very good. So that's at moonchild underscore Soph, if you want to go and see the rest of her work. And that's everything in the box. So I've got to now try and close it, which I can never do, because it's so packed full. So which casket? That was your October witch casket, which, is always my favorite and everyone's favorite as well um it's a great little box um i will forever be getting witch casket because it's one of my favorites if not my only favorite um box so i constantly get it um i would definitely suggest it if you're thinking about getting a box any box at all and you've seen a couple but you're still wondering what do i get what box do i get um definitely get witch casket i can definitely guarantee you're never going to be disappointed because they get better and better every single month. Just as, just when I think they can't get any better, they surprise me and then they land up putting stuffing in. I'm like, I never would have thought of that, like ever in a million years. So well done, Devonella. Thank you so much for putting these boxes together in such a tormenting time and a troublesome time and such a big pandemic. Um, thank you very much. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna, not going to keep you any longer. Um, so, thank you very much for watching my videos. Again, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Leave me a message down in the comments. Um, and, yeah, so uh, I'll see you in my next video. Until then, um, blessed be. And remember, you be you.